Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, DXB Crypto here. So the three projects that I get asked the most about are the three projects that haven't performed or had a healthy correction in this uh, recent dip that we've had. And I want to tell you how I'm playing this game. So first of all, mindset is probably the most important thing if you're going to succeed in this crypto game. Buy and hold, get rid of the crappy projects that don't perform, and stick to our plan so this is my general advice now some of you are saying when tectum is pretty much tanking shall i sell it absolutely not why would you sell a potential gem at 100 million dollars this could do 20 30x and that is something that you should be accumulating not selling so this is advice number one advice number two whenever these uh, cryptocurrencies run there is a crypto money flow chart um so money flow in crypto you've got to really look into this guys um and the reason i'm saying money flow into crypto uh crypto money flow is probably the most important thing you need to be aware of and how this money flows so let's take any random chart over here money flow hasn't changed guys it has new additions but hasn't changed money flows into from fiat to bitcoin large caps mid caps and low caps and what do we invest here we invest in low caps right so unless you're willing to diversify and what i'm showing you here is the current split of my dgen portfolio and how i'm actually building up some safety net as well as some of course high risk high reward projects but if you look at for example casper if you look at the likes of ondo these are big uh, market cap cryptocurrencies. Now, you need several of these. If you're holding, uh, let's say, up to $50,000 in crypto, you don't really need to over-diversify. I think 20 projects is more than enough. But what I'm doing here is I'm hedging my bets. I'm saying to myself, Casper could do 29x to get to Cardano's 93 billion all-time market uh, cap from where it is today. And I'll show you how we, we look at that in a minute. But also, I'm prepared to take 20x on, on Casper. Having said that, Alephium is currently almost 20x below where Casper's all-time high was, about 23x at $4 billion. The risk to reward is huge. AI tech is a massive deep in play, right? A huge, huge deep in play. AI, of course, um, it's an AI deep in play. AI tech is going to be a gem. I know that they're building a massive uh, uh, own data center. I think the US government came out a few days ago talking about how they, they see this as a crucial, even national security feature. So the, it's a fantastic project with a great team. They post a lot. I want to be exposed to that hype. I've got Ondo there. I'm building up at least 10%. I would like to see that go up a bit more. But Ondo Finance is anything that moves in RWA. They've got fantastic TVL from the likes of JP Morgan. Why wouldn't I consider that? And you've got then Tectum, which has a huge, huge upside. Mint layer, which has an immense upside. High risk, high reward. Corpo World, SMH, Alex Labs, which I, I'm glad I bought the hack, right? Most people wouldn't actually tell you when they bought that. I actually bought that on the day they got hacked. But I love the fact that the way the team responded, and the way they subsequently kind of locked down all the wallets, you can't actually trade this. You can't, you can't send it apart from a few exchanges. So take advantage when, um, you know, when 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 things are down. But I am doing exactly what I want to do, and I have a clear plan. So do my um, my DXB community. And by the way, if you want to be part of our WAP group. DXB community on Discord. This is unbelievable value for money, guys. At $9, portfolio reviews are $20, VIP meetups and phone calls and whatever you want to see face-to-face, -face, all of that stuff for $99. This is probably one of the best investments that you'll ever make, all right? You may spend, what, $120 on that base tier for the entire year. However, the, the upside is crazy. So, look, Mint Layer, Narratives, so let's start with narratives first. So the narratives will be, first narrative that is absolutely tanked, that no one's talking about now, and people will definitely FOMO into, is gaming. Do I think we will have multiple gaming cycles in this run? Absolutely not, because of the emergence of AI and meme coins. And to a certain extent, RWAs. But what I do believe is gaming, when it pumps, 
especially the winners in gaming. So I'm looking at a 90 day uh, performance levels for those that I've done so well uh, recently. Anything that's not tanking is has performed over the last 90 days, despite the dip that shows me relative strength. So what I want to do is I want to accumulate some of the good gaming uh, projects that have made uh, significant gains uh, in the market and haven't actually gone into the negatives. Of course, we have our favorites, but you've got to be completely open minded when you are an investor. Cut your, uh, cut your uh, slackers, add to your winners and off to the races. All right. So this is one narrative that's quite important. Another narrative that I'm looking at right now is the entire Bitcoin ecosystem layer twos. And you can see here, I don't think it's actually, you know, they, a lot of these have ZK rollups, but it's not possible yet uh, to do ZK rollups on Bitcoin. But look at the likes of BVM, look at the likes of Mint Layer, again, a pickaxe, and look at the likes of uh, Merlin Chain. These are some of the ones I'm watching right now and some of the ones that I hold. So that's another narrative that will eventually kick off along with runes. If you're buying rune uh, runes uh, or if you're inscribing runes, you may have a windfall similar to the BRC20s when things um, finally take off. So that's another thing you need to look at. But more interestingly, you'd see how this is structured. So based AI, again, you know, I don't want to really talk about AI, but AI will have maybe two, three, five more times it will pump only because of the fact that there are so many different catalysts. There's, you know, OpenAI's ChatGPT, they announce something, AI takes a notice, NVIDIA do something, AI and GPU or deep in projects, uh, uh, you know, run up, you look at something like a Microsoft or a Google or, or Apple, any of these big tech stocks, when, once they have a little bit of a positive news, AI will pump. So AI is going to be very important for your portfolio. Now, memes will continue to be here, I believe, even in the bear market. That's going to be an open casino. Now, should you buy and hold crappy meme coins? No, you shouldn't because you're going to lose immense value. But you can accumulate some decent meme coins when the charts are quiet. Namely, the US election political meme coins will be rocking. Trump is already blazing. When it comes back down, take advantage of that. And finally, look, I wanted to, of course, you know, I wanted to talk about Mint Layer, the recent price action of Mint Layer and why people are just so scared to uh, to talk about ML in its current um in its current phase and i think mint layer right now it's in a accumulation phase tectum is in accumulation phase and alephium is in accumulation phase 171 hardly very scary you should be buying more one 135 million dollars and if i actually show you uh so let's let's play a game here let's go to alf okay we'll talk about casper in a minute but let's say alf goes to the market cap of where CAS is today, right? Where CAS is today, that is a $40 ALF, 23X on your money. Happy days. Would you be happy with 20X from here? And a market cap of $3 billion? So people need to actually wake up, smell the coffee, and understand how to make money in this market. If we go to CAS's all-time high, $52 is 30 times your money from where we are today. I'd be happy to take that, would you? In a market that's uncertain so when you see some of these convictions casper is one that i'm going to talk about in a minute and again especially performance against bitcoin so casper right now it goes to cardano's current market cap you're looking at 5x 16 billion not great and so that's where you think okay the gains are finished over there no 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 let's go to ada's all time Ada's all time, this will give you a $4, uh, two, uh, 399 cash, 29x for your money. Let's go somewhere conservative. Could Casper do 20x from here? The answer is yes. And you may ask why. Well, one of the reasons why is Casper smart contracts. Casper is already working on. So this is KDX process manager, uh, which is a um, obviously, you know, a, a, you know, a KDX for Casper. You've got the blocks that are being produced at a rapid rate. And you've got transactions. So you can see here latest blocks and the speed of these blocks. This is all public information. One new addition here is the Casper ecosystem, right? So if you look at the Casper ecosystem here, with smart contracts, you may start seeing crazy stuff that's going to happen here. You know, meme coins, 
all this crazy, crazy business that goes on Casper. And this is why I'm extremely bullish. And another statistic I can give you is Casper's performance against BTC. So this is Casper BTC chart, all right? And it broke out over here. You can see the confirmation candle. And what does that mean? Well, most, most, most cryptocurrencies are down against Bitcoin. Facts, right? This is starting to break out. Could this go to the all-time high? Potentially, it will smash through. Possibly. There are only few cryptocurrencies that outperform or perform well against Bitcoin. And that's where you need to be looking for relative strength. So we talk about Casper. Any retraces from the current level, which is around 14 uh, resistance at the upper end of 14 cents, I think, you know, the, you know, you should be taking advantage of that. You should be taking advantage of that. And another encouraging thing is whenever Casper went uh, dip in, it never just actually went below 10 cents. So if there's a catalyst uh, in your bull market, I think that structure of safety, degenning, a mix, a balanced portfolio like this, could this be balanced more? Yeah, sure. I could add a few, uh, you know, a few more big caps over here, but I just showed you what the upside is, risk, risk to reward. So when you talk about mint layer and you want to sell because mint layer, you think mint layer is not moving, look, look back at the money flow, right? This, the cycles will always be exactly the same, no matter what happens. And I think this is a perfect way to end this um, uh, post here. So not many retailers know. And again, this might be modified. And I can take an argument where you've got interseasonal narratives. We did have a DeFi season previously in previous runs. Money comes into the altcoin phase. How Bitcoin... Ethereum, you've been seeing a bit of that. Money's starting to trickle to large caps. That's why your DGEM plays don't move. And then ultimately, money goes into the proper altcoin season, which is, you know, these meme, I mean, not the memes now. This is what's detached from this cycle. So the way I see it is we will have money flow into narratives, okay? And then we're on a macro level, we'll have money going from large caps to you know you know mid caps and micro caps so that perhaps remains nowhere else is that illustrated in when render moves it will be moving up for months in ai narrative or gpu narrative but when you have your lower market caps like for example a based ai or or uh, ai tech they tend to go on a two to three weeks a month of explosion at the end of a major, major sell the news event, all right? So you have to understand, you've got to be patient and none of this, you've got to do your own research. Whatever I'm holding here, whatever, it's because I have conviction. You may call me crazy, you may think I'm <laughs> whatever, but I do have some safety net. So I think Casper, Ondo, relatively cool, AI tech, not bad at all, Alephium. And then I'm playing the market. So anytime you play with the alt market, you are going to have risk. Believe that, guys. Absolutely believe that. Nothing goes up straight forever. But I can guarantee you, everybody will go, uh, will go and buy Mint Layer at a dollar. I'm telling you, the FOMO is absolutely incredible. When these prices are like this, no one's touching them over 90 days. However, when the, when the green candles come, everybody's going to FOMO. And one of the most incredible uh, questions I get is, why is my portfolio not moving? That's because you hold micro caps. And in the true sense of the money flow, in this, in this, if you can add, you know, continuous uh, meme presence and continuous narrative presence within a within within a money flow cycle like this, then you understand crypto much better. And I hope I brought you something there. And if you want to be part of our community, the best uh, $9 a month you'll ever spend in your life is with the DXP community. I've got unbelievable people there. Uh, extremely mature crowd, know what they want, know how they want to go about it. And again, not loyal to any cryptocurrency, but have conviction. So if you want to join us, join us on WAP, join us on Discord, and I'll catch you on the next one. Smash a like as well and follow the channel, guys. Take care.